Disney Plus has been making a few great shows these last couple of months. And now, Marvel fans all over can excitedly wait for Agatha, Coven of Chaos. So far, we're not certain when the series will be released, but if everything goes as planned, we can expect to see Katherine Hahn in the role of Agatha sometime in late 2023. We can also expect to see nine episodes for the first season, but hey, we can always hope to see more. Now, did you love Katherine Hahn's portrayal of Agatha as much as we did? She was a great breakout character in WandaVision, and many fans loved her performance as one of the show's main villains. And yes, villains, since the brilliant Elizabeth Olsen's character, Wanda, is also now a villain. Fans aren't as happy to see one of their favorite characters descend into villainy. Is that a word? Villainy? But wow, did WandaVision and the Multiverse of Madness really create an amazing bad guy or, well, girl? Although we can't deny Agatha is an amazing character, and we're really excited to see what her series is going to be about. We don't have a release date yet, but we do know that the show is currently shooting. Recently, we got a few leaks about the plot for the upcoming series, and if the leaks are true, we're in for a magnificent series. When Wanda leaves Westview in WandaVision's final episode, she traps Agatha in the city. She basically got revenge for what Agatha did to her. And don't worry, Wanda might have flown away without anyone holding her accountable, but this was kind of addressed in the Multiverse of Madness. Although what we really want to know is, how the hell is Agatha going to escape? She should be under Wanda's spell, and the Coven of Chaos is going to address that. And for all you Wanda fans out there, we can expect to see her return to a cameo in the final episode of the upcoming season. However, before before that, we're going to see how Agatha is going to break free from Wanda's spell. She broke free from the spell the second Scarlet Witch broke the Dark Hold and, you know, died at the end of Multiverse of Madness. I opened the Dark Hold. I have to close it. No one will ever be tempted by the Dark Hold again. <laughs> So back to the leak. Agatha's first instinct after escaping is going to be to hide and lay low for a while. But Westview views her as a hero, and she's going to use that recognition to her advantage. From the looks of it, Agatha isn't going to be a villain. Instead, she's going to be a hero that fights alongside Wanda and Billy. Billy will be played by the very talented Joe Locke. This Billy is indeed Wiccan. However, he's not Wanda's son. Instead, he's Agatha's adopted son. And if this leak is true, it's going to be one exciting twist. Moreover, Billy has a boyfriend, and he's Aubrey Plaza's witch's worker. Yes, his boyfriend works for the show's villain. Another exciting twist. In the show, we'll find out that the Coven isn't actually a group of bad guys, but that they're actually here to worship Billy. Although Plaza's witch is a rogue, and she will be the main villain of the series, the leak also says that Evan Peters is going to be in the series. And no, he's not going to eat anyone. Well, at least we hope so. He's going to play as an awkward Ralph Boner, but we'll also later learn that he's not actually Ralph. The leak also teases a few other great cameos for the series, like the appearance of Mephisto in the show and him offering Wanda her powers back. Apparently, Wanda will be depowered after what happened in Multiverse of Madness, but she won't descend into madness again. Rather, this time, she's going to fight alongside Agatha and Billy. We can also expect to see an unnamed popular Disney star in the series. He or she will play as one of the Covenant members as well. Fingers crossed, it's Stan the Dog from Dog with a Blog. The end of the telekinetic character series could be amazing, especially if the leaks are true. It could end with Agatha, Wanda, and Billy working together as their next objective is to find Billy's brother. And since we won't get to see Tommy, also known as Speed in the series, we can expect to see him 
in Vision Quest, a series that Marvel hasn't announced yet. In this series, Wanda will figure out that she actually had her powers this entire time, even after the Multiverse of Madness. But her trauma and fear of destruction have prevented her from using them. You know all those extremely cool powers, like magic, telekinesis, Probability manipulation. Witchcraft. Ghana and pursue their enemies from a link between realities. Then even teleportation. And this is only to name a few. Wanda is an extremely strong character, and it's great that we can expect to see her on the good side again. The events that will happen in Agatha, Coven of Chaos, will directly tie into the next series. And if the leaks are true, White Vision will also start his own little Avengers group, known as the Young Avengers. Sadly, this is all speculation for now, since it's still quite a while before the series is going to be released. But we do expect to see a brilliant series. So, the you think the series could be a crime drama? A few photos from the set have emerged and some people are speculating that the series is secretly a crime drama and it isn't such a far-fetched idea. Marvel has explored all of the genres from classic horror to magical sitcoms and legal comedy. Now the series was announced as a dark comedy right from the get-go but it seems as if we're going to see some crime drama elements in the series. Perhaps Agatha could end up taking on a detective role to investigate a case that the Westview police can't solve. Due to its magical nature, of course, this idea makes a lot of sense. Mayor of East Town was a hit with fans, and the HBO series starred Kate Winslet in the role of both hero and detective, and hey, maybe Marvel wants a piece of that action. So, since Agatha is a local hero, she might as well be a detective as well. But what do you think? Will Agatha be a detective in a crime drama series, or do you hope to see something else from the show's plot. Now, we all hope to see Agatha early in 2023 rather than later, but with so many show delays, it's understandable that we're going to see it sometime near the end of 2023. Although, do you think that Agatha, Coven of Chaos, is going to be delayed? Yes, there's a possibility for anything, and the show can be delayed for various reasons. But with the recent delay in the Echo series' production, Agatha, Coven of Chaos, might suffer the same fate. So far, we still hope to see Agatha, Coven of Chaos near the end of 2023, and at the latest, early 2024. But we can only hope, although we shouldn't worry about the show getting scrapped. Fans everywhere are extremely excited to see the upcoming series, and Marvel needs to add the series to tie in a few other stories. So, the chances that the series is going to be scrapped are quite low, and with so many great ideas for the plot, it wouldn't make sense for them to cancel the show. Hopefully, this this video put your heart at ease and told you everything you need to know about Agatha, Coven of Chaos. See you in the next video.